Hey parents, I hope you had a Merry Christmas. And uh, I was thinking about gifts this month. And when we talk about the gifts our kids get, have you ever noticed how certain kinds of gifts seem to get more attention than others? And I'm not talking like the Christmas gifts. I'm talking about the spiritual gifts and the, the physical gifts that our kids get. It's easy to tell a kid they're a good musician, a good athlete, a public speaker, or a leader. But what about the not-so-obvious gifts? What are they, and how can we be better as parents at recognizing them in our own kids? And so I've got a few things for you. Number one, think differently as parents. How many not-so-obvious gifts can you name? Have you ever thought about being a good listener as a gift? For example, is your kid empathetic, funny, kind, compassionate, inclusive, a learner? You know, the list could go on forever because your kid is infinitely and uniquely gifted. Number two, get curious as a parent. When we start with the assumption that every kid is gifted, we're more likely to see how our kids are gifted. To do this, we have to slow down. Pay attention and ask better questions about how and when our kids thrive. Number three, make a connection. Because when you notice a gift in your child, cultivate it by connecting them with people or resources that can help them to grow. Maybe it's not you. Maybe between mentors, coaches, books, podcasts, online courses, uh, like masterclass and, and videos, there's, there's plenty of connections that you can make for your child. And number four, give them opportunities. Gifts are meant to be used. So find a way to help your child use their gift in a meaningful way. That's what I want you to do in 2022. Point out those not-so-obvious gifts in your child because your kid needs to see what you see in them. 